Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've uh, been using SSDs in most of my computers these days, kind of uh, going that direction largely because of speed. Insane, you know, and I realize SSDs have a, a set amount of shortcomings. I've yet to have one fail on me, knock on wood, or particle board as this might be. Uh, but, you know, the primary differences to me, are, are, it boils down to speed. I mean, yes, SSDs are, are certainly faster uh, than, uh, say, the traditional hard drive or something that uh, has more friction. Right. So it isn't the friction particularly that slows things down. It's that traditional hard drives have spinning, moving parts. In a needle. The, well, a, 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 spin they, a set of magnetic heads that read from the platters. Right. It's not a needle. Yeah. It, but it, yeah. It's, it, it looks like it when you take one apart. Right. So SSD has a lot of advantages. Like you said, generally faster. There are... There are spindle drives that are faster than SSD drives, but only on consecutive reads or consecutive writes, where you've got a very large file and you want to read it and it's all put onto the drive in order. Um, SSDs don't care where the data is on the drive, so you can do very fast what are called seek times, jumping between spots on the disk. SSDs also are basically indestructible in terms of gravity and things like that. If you drop your laptop while you're writing to the spindle drive, you can scratch the platter because the head will make contact and just go across it right. and all of your data is gone. SSD, no moving parts. So it doesn't really care. And you have to drop it from a lot farther than you or I are likely to drop things, right. like top of the Empire State Building type things, right. in order to break an SSD. The problem is... I can get a two, and I think I might even be able to get a four terabyte spindle drive right now. How big can you get an SSD drive? Five twelve. Yeah, and um, yeah, gigabytes. Five hundred and twelve gigabytes. Right. So you know, an eighth the size. Yeah, but it and, depends and what you want. I know, like, and, and they're they're really expensive per and per right. gigabyte. Sure. Comparison, but you also have a faster, <clears throat> to me, a faster, more responsive system. Yes, I, I agree. SSDs are, are great for, for a lot, most people in most scenarios. They do cost more, and you don't get as much space. And there are people who've talked about the fact that you don't get an unlimited number of writes to an SSD drive, but yeah, I mean, but that, most people don't hit that. Okay, how, w how would you theoretically hit that then? Uh, running a database is one of the, the easiest ones. If you've got a very dense database with a lot of small writes on data that's changing constantly, you're going to be constantly writing over small bits and, and you can end up with write failures. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing is that there is some extra capacity built into an SSD so that you, as at, when it says, hey, I tried to write this and it didn't work, yeah. it writes it into the other spot. So there's some compensation for that. And typically the software monitoring will tell you, hey, your SSD just had to start filling up that space. You might want to get a new one. Okay. So there's really no advantage or disadvantage other than knowing what you want, what you need. Right. It, it, it's cost versus speed and size. Uh, I always say go for speed. That's me. That's just me. I'm crazy that way.